Hey, thanks for joining us this fine day at Brando Consulting. This is Lance and we're going to take a look at fulfilling a move type transfer order in this video. So a move type transfer order in picking shows up like this. We've got the location group SLC going to the exact same location group SLC. Remember a location group is supposed to represent a warehouse or a building with an address. So let's look at this one since it's given us a green light. The green light means we can pick it. We'll double click on that and it's starting out as started for us already. So take a look here it's all coming from receiving in a previous video I created a put away type transfer order and that's what this move type transfer order is is it's it's a put away type transfer order so at the top you'll see it's going from receiving to stock 100 well how did it come up with stock 100 there's two ways it could do this one either this part is assigned to a default location. Let's go see if that's the case. We'll go to the part, look up WR dash, etc, etc. WR dash. And look at the default locations. Okay, that's not the case. Default locations are not assigned. The other way this um, fishbowl could come up with a location recommendation to move it to is under the locations screen there is always going to be a default location for that location type and uh, group so this is stock 100 the pick screen said it was stock 100 Salt Lake City if we go to stock 100 Salt Lake City we'll see default location for this location type and group. So that's how Fishbowl came up with its recommendation of where to put it. Now I believe it's probably yeah doing that same thing for all of them. Now in your warehouse of course you're not going to have uh, just a few locations. Most of my customers have around a hundred locations in their warehouse to choose from. So if we want to create a pick ticket that shows our warehouse guys where to put it, then we can go to the, the line here and edit where we want to put it. I'm going to move my video over here so we can see that. So notice here we can edit the location that we want to send the, the item. So we'll say SLC so it'll narrow it down to Salt Lake locations and here we can change the location that it goes to and you'll do that one at a time. Now if you have Fishbowl Go this is even easier. Uh, you just use the device to move. You use the move feature and as they go through the warehouse they can just move it from receiving. But without Fishbowl Go this is the next best bet. So once we choose each location and decide where each one is supposed to go, either by going with the default or manually assigning each one, we can print out a pick ticket, hand it to your guys to finish picking, and notice it says the from location, the destination location where they're picking it to. And then if they vary from that, then just have them write you a little note. Um, when they bring the pick ticket back, then if anything is different than what you uh, recommended they do, you just come back in here again, type in the location group to narrow it down and the location it went to and click finish. And then we can look at everything else that was put away and click finish. And that's all we have to do to fulfill a transfer order. You'll see if we click on this link right here to the transfer order, the status of this transfer order is now fulfilled and it's off the list. Thanks for joining us on how to 
finish a move type transfer order.